All right, everybody. Good morning and welcome to the morning volatility report from OptionPit.com, your source for options, trading, and education. We have a course tomorrow on Saturday morning, long-term trading and hedging. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a standard, you know, selling calls and buying puts, and we will do a volatility overlay with that managing trade plan. Okay, that's the idea. So it's a technique for an equity position or um, uh, index positions or ETFs. Okay. Um, for all Option Pit members, Option Pit Live and above, it's free. Okay. It shows up on our schedule here. On the monthly, you're going to see 9.30 a.m. start time, Eastern time. Okay. Now let's get to the markets. Um, all I'm going to say so. We've got a little lack of volatility here, right? So you have the non-farm payroll number. Traditionally, that has been um, a, let's just call it, you, you, we kind of have the vol bit into the number for the surprise, and then we have nothing. Um, and that's what we have today. We have, again, we have uh, 15 VIX. Let's look at some of the future prices. Okay, uh, most of the futures here are down. Um, this future here, curiously enough, uh, expiring um, next week. Still showing a little bit of like around a 16. You know, it, it's, a, it's a wide market. Let's just put it that way. But it is not unusual for it to be trading you know, of 25 cents or 30 cents over uh, parity at this point. There's still a few days to go on it. Okay. The rest of the futures are kind of following in line. May is starting to assume a normal. It's all the contango now I would say is fairly normal. The June is still kind of juicy, right? We're trading at a 19, about a 19, uh, which is not cheap. Okay. 19% vol. Maybe this is including the Brexit. I don't know is, is why this future has remained stubbornly high, which is fine. Um, it has made things actually work out okay. Um, oops, sorry about that. Anyway, so... What the reality is, is this future is looking for higher vol. What we've, we've gotten a, let's just call it for the last, um, we had a low tick in vol, I believe, on settlement day, two Wednesdays ago. And vol has been kind of slowly, steadily increasing since then. So, you know, one thing I am like vol begets vol as far as I'm concerned things are moving in one direction, it tends to stay in that direction. However, we have not gotten enough catalyst to make the market sell off more. It's basically kind of in a yes state. The news, whatever the bad news is, is not bad enough to send stocks lower. Uh, we have had, you know, scattered earnings. Mostly they've reported better than expected overall, although um, – most of the earnings through the season, they've ratcheted down their um, uh, they've ratcheted down their expectations, and at the same time, you know, oil and everything else, much, much, much lower earnings in the S and P 500 because of that. Uh, same with the banks. So again, we don't have that catalyst to rally, and things aren't bad enough in China, Japanese currency, let's we'll take a look at that. None of this stuff is bad enough to really warrant a sell-off. So what we have is, and even Japan, I believe they were closed for a few days. Now they opened up, basically unchanged. So, you know, iron condors, we'll look at butterflies, stuff like that, trades that kind of lean on. Um, the future decay, now that we're trading at around a 16 VIX, uh, the reality is... Uh, we need uh, volatility still <laughs> 30 day vols below 10. Okay, that's the reality. 
Okay, so even though we've got we're getting higher cash volatility, we are not seeing right, and we've been kind of sliding down from the 2100 level. We're just still not seeing the realized vol. So the market's waiting for something to happen, which is not quite happening as of right now. And I think that's where we are. Trades that do well, time spreads. Um, I think index butterflies will start to look good. I think index iron condors will start to look good. I think maybe we could even go a shorter duration on those. Okay. So with uh, the employment rate doing what it's doing, uh, rates don't look like they're going to rise anytime soon, which is not great for the banks. So it's just a lot of malaise. Anyway, so you want malaise trades. Um, and those are basically what we've been looking for all week. It's just their uh, long time in coming to make anything happen. All right, and with that, um, I will see a lot of you in the chat room uh, today. You guys have a good day.